In our previous video, Dr. Randy Anderson walked us through the biology of weed seed survival in no-till and conventional tilled conditions. And in this video, Dr. Anderson takes this biology and shows how it actually works in real life based on one of his three-year studies. And so what we did is we went out to a field, let the weed seeds that were produced in that growing season drop to the ground surface, and then we imposed two treatments. One was no-till, and the other was till, and our tillage was like cultivating. In other words, it wasn't plowing. It was just blading the so and putting the seeds somewhere between one and four inches in the soil. We then monitored the seedling emergence over several growing seasons afterwards to try to get a sense of the trend that's occurring with no-till versus till and the placement of seeds in soil. So in this study, what we did is we established quadrats. We went out and counted the seedlings every week, and after counting, we would pull the seedlings and then allow the new seedlings to come. We counted these quadrats for every, for every week of the growing season for three years, and that gave us a sense of the trend that occurs when we compare no-till versus till. If you look at this graph here, I'm showing here seedlings as percentage, Recent beans, we had four studies plus several reps, so we just averaged over everything. Okay, so these were four sites, and then there were reps within each site as well. Got it. And I have the growing season here, one, two, and three. So like this number one, this 100 value would be from this quadrat. Every seedling that emerged for every week during the growing season, we just kept totaling it and then expressed it as a percentage. The yellow bar is the tilled treatments, we tilled once each year, just basically to replace the seeds in the soil, and we had no-till, and that would be the white bar. First thing I'd like you to note is with time, the number of seedlings decline. In other words, around 100% here, here we're around 20%. So that shows you the benefit you can gain from having diversity in, of life cycles in your rotation. The second point I'd like you to consider is the difference between the two bars. So in y the first growing season, this yellow bar, which is tilled, we had 100 seedlings, we had 88 in no-till. So for a management perspective, that's really no benefit at all. They're about the same density. In the second growing season, we got 48 seedlings in the till, we got 32 in the no-till. We're starting to see some difference here. If you look at year number three, when we had 33 seedlings in the till, we had only four. In other words, this difference is an eight-fold difference in year number three, while here we had no difference. The key point is no-till is a benefit for weed management, but it takes time. Wow, just in case you missed that, this is an eight-fold difference in only three years. Pretty amazing. Yes, and to repeat Dr. Anderson, the key point is that no-till benefits in weed management accrue over time. And in this case, it was over a three-year period. So how do we tap into this time element of no-till? Stay tuned because that's exactly the subject of our next video. See you soon.